I'm Margaret Owen of Peace in Kurdistan. Jeremy, you're a great friend of the Kurds, and they're grateful to you. What will be the Labour government's policy towards Turkey? Will it condemn the genocide that is going on against the Kurds in Syria and in Turkey? Will it do anything to renew the peace process, ensure the Kurds are represented at the Geneva thing? And will you actually review um, the arms sales and actually review arms sales to countries which violate human rights? Will you condemn that Turkey for this? Thank you. And then, and um, on the question that Margaret raised about, um, about Kurdistan, uh, the Kurdish people were denied their identity by the conclusion of the Treaty of Versailles and they're still living with the consequences of that. An independent Kurdistan was originally recognized in the Woodrow Wilson 14 points and then um, obliterated a few years later and there's that thirst for that identity for the Kurdish people. Indeed there are many Kurdish people in my constituency and I've visited at various times in my life all parts of Kurdistan and um, I've witnessed the way in which Kurdish people have been very, very badly treated, and that indeed has then provoked the, the backlash of war there. And I would be very strong with the Turkish government on its treatment of Kurdish people and minorities and the way in which it's denied them their decency and human rights and use all the legal powers we have on that. And also, if arms are being used to oppress people internally in violation of international law, then they should simply not be supplied to them. And any settlement in Syria and the Middle East must include recognition of the rights and needs of Kurdish people, Armenians uh, and others. Because if you suppress somebody's identity, which is what's happened with the Kurdish people, then you actually end up with the danger of a much greater conflict later on. It is a question about recognizing people's language and their identity, which is, I think, an important part towards peace.